All right, guys. Reaver here. We are back. I think yesterday this is where we stopped. As much as it drove me nuts, I didn't keep playing. How do I click again? All right. Oxygen, space, food. We were adventuring yesterday, trying to find some stuff and build up our stuff. Now I have to re-familiarize myself. Do we have the exoskeleton? Uh, yes, we do. Wish I could drag and rearrange these, but going to be able to do it. So, it looks like we were... What is this? Oh, this is the blueprints we unlock. Interface. This is how much power we have consumed and produced. I remember yesterday we were looking around to build more and more stuff. What was the other way we could build? Is it Q? Yes, it is. It's Q. Alright. Let's see. Drill. Heater. I believe we already have a heater somewhere. Craft station, living compartment, foundational grid. Maybe it's about time we go use this flashlight and explore one of these wreckages over here. We have food and oxygen. Actually, you know what I was thinking? What is this? Iron, iron, titanium, iron, titanium, silicone. So let's find some titanium. Let's find some more titanium. Let's get some iron knocked out here and some silicone. We don't need more than one of those, I don't think. Is this iron? Yes, it is. I forgot what they looked like yesterday. Iron. Okay. Well, what else was it? Iron, iron, titanium. So we need three iron, two titanium, and one silicone. Two titanium, one silicone. So one more iron and we're good to go. There we go. All right, now let's head off. I've got an idea here. We might be able to produce another one of those buildings over here closer to this so we have a stop point to grab more oxygen. Unless we can go inside these wrecks and replenish our oxygen. I'm not entirely sure how that works. That being said, we can try it out because this looks like a whole whole area. Not even sure. Perhaps if we go inside here we get to breathe? Definitely not. Alright, let's uh build one of these right here. And let's build one of these right here, and let's get our butts in here, get our oxygen back. Alright, now let's go explore these wrecks. Is there anything here? Is there a deconstructor or something useful here? I have never explored these, so... Those things... Oh. There we go. What are these? Deconstruction ship 2 required. Alright. Well. Open storage crate. Seed. 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 Bean seed. Space food. Okay. Alright. I mean, we can just ex open canister. Blueprint microchip. All right. Not quite sure what good that does us, but let's keep looking around. I see another little iridium, space food, more seeds, a little fabric. There we go. We found some fabric, and I'm sure once we can just deconstruct. How do we... Ah, deconstruct the wreck. Oh, neat. Okay. Break that down. Wait, I don't want to break that. I want to open it. Yeah, fabric, fabric. Aluminium, maybe? Nah, let's put that back. Let's get some seed dust area. Alright, let's run back outside, get some oxygen. Because clearly it's not working to replenish our oxygen here. Get that oxygen back. Let's uh, drink that water. Right click to consume. There we go. Do we have any food? I think we picked up food in there. Yeah, space food. Alright, so we're looking pretty good right now. Maybe we could build a. Uh, storage crate out here. There we go. Open the crate. Put in all the good stuff.
All right, let's go exploring again. These are pretty neat. Quite a bit of stuff in here, and I'm sure when we can break it all down, it gets a little, a little easier for us to build other stuff, like the things requiring fabric, etc. What's this? Can we deconstruct that chair? No, we cannot. Deconstruct the wreck? Yes, we can. Okay, that gives us access to a new area. And it gives us iron. Okay. Deconstruct storage crate? Can't. Oh, inventory is full. What's this? Deconstruct heater T2? Alright. Maybe this is how we get some new stuff. Squash seeds? Fabric? Iridium? Just to eat this one. There we go. That way we don't have to find somewhere to put it. Oh! Super alloy. Squash seeds. Blueprint microchip. Some seeds. Okay, we're running into some good stuff here. I say that not knowing whatsoever what good stuff is. Of course. Hey, if you're going to be wrong, be confidently wrong. That's my motto. Now, let's see if we can make another one of these. Just to build more stuff. Let's get some iron back so we can make yet another one. My goodness. Alright. Put that in there. Let's go explore some more stuff. This seems pretty beneficial. Not entirely sure... Can I deconstruct this stuff so it's just out of my way? No, that is not a thing. Deconstruct the storage crate. Is this a door? Deconstruct that. Can we deconstruct that? Yep. Can we deconstruct any beds? Nope. I'm just doing this so I don't forget. Oh! Okay. Deconstruct you now. Is this the purpose of these little wrecks? To just deconstruct? Maybe just to unlock technology you can't get any other way? Like things with fabric and such? A little claustrophobic the way the, uh... Ah! Way you can't really see with a flashlight, but I think that's intended. Deconstruct technical debris. Chip T2 required. Alright, so maybe we just need to advance ourselves. I believe it's a time thing the way our technology advances. It seems like it. It seems like it's just a waiting game. So. want to leave all this stuff here? Do we want to bring it back to the other base? I feel like we want to bring all the super alloys back to the... You know what? It doesn't feel like we need everything in one place. So let's just take some fabrics, oxygen multipliers, 200%, seed posteria. Ah! Maybe what seed? Yeah, this one had no seed multiplier, so let's get one of the oxygen multipliers. Actually, how do we build another one of those oxygen things? Solar panel, hold up. Iron, cobalt, cobalt, and silicone. Alright, let's drop a lot of this off so we can just. Iron, cobalt, silicone. Here's some cobalt. Iron. Iron. Cobalt. I believe this is silicone. Yep. See if we can't get some good solar panels put up here. Let's pretend we're putting them in a way that makes sense. Can we do anything with this now? Energy plus 6.5 kilowatts. Maybe there's a downside to that, because that seems like so much more than the uh, wind turbine 1.2 per second versus 6.5 per second. 
Iridium, iron, and silicone. So we can have silicone. What? Did I name that? Oh, you can... Wow. Did not know that. That's very neat. Here's a heater. I don't know if we're going to need a heater. Oh, it has to be inside, I believe. There we go. Now we're getting even more heat, but less energy. I forget what the purpose. Foundational grid. Structure is going to be used to create outside floors, stairs, reaching spaces, or anything you can imagine. Outside lamp illuminates outside. You might want an outside lamp. Magnesium, just so we can identify this place from further away. What is this? Aluminium. All right. Oh, uranium. That's a new one. Okay. Break that down now. Uranium, iron. Aluminium. What's in here? It's like a random little adventure. See, I still haven't quite figured out the purpose of this game because I'm trying to be cautious with getting lost. I really don't want to get lost and randomly die. That's not the best way to find out what happens when you die. <laughs> getting lost and then dying. It's usually better to die close to something that you can identify and get back to if, if there's a respawn mechanic in the game. Alright. Let's see what can we drop off here. Iron, I guess? Sure. What were we building again? I forgot already. Living compartment window. Oh, that's a window. Okay. I love how obvious that was, and I did not get it. Uh, what was it I was looking for magnesium for? Ah, a lamp. That makes sense. So let's turn this light outwards. So it's easy to see if we ever get out there at night. Change color? That must be like contrast, that's darkness, that's brightness. Let's go with like that. That's a nice enough color. Sure. Oh lord. Okay. Well, that's gonna stand out. Maybe I should turn this to bright freaking white. There we go. We are having trouble generating food and water routinely. I believe that comes with more unlocks. Oh, okay. So far I don't see any threats though. I feel like this is a relatively peaceful game. Not used to that. Now, oxygen capsule. We don't need that. Let's just head back to our other base. Right over there. See, it's easier to see when they're farther apart. But that light really isn't doing anything. But I'm assuming at night it's going to. If we pass any ice on the way, we'll grab it. Oh, that's neat. Spam click. Alright. Inventory full. Anyway, heading over here to craft some ice into water. Craft screen progress and craft screen terra formation. Hydration levels are getting low. All right. Let's go in here see if we can't make some water. This is craft water bottle. Oh, I do need ice. All right, that's not good. Get rid of some of this. More rare stuff. What is it? Open bit. Eat Lirma. Oxygen multiplies 200%. See if that goes up. Yep, it does. Wow. Okay. That helps a lot. Alright, 
let's go get some ice. Now that it's dark, can we see the light way over there? No, not really. It doesn't help at all. Alright, good idea. Bad execution. Make a couple farmers. So we do not want to run low on water long term. Plus, if we grab all the ice around here, we can make it very obvious. If any water reappears, what those meteor swarms do. For the most part, I feel like the meteor swarm comes and suddenly we're surrounded by a bunch of ice. Now that it's dark, can we see the light easier? We shall see once I craft some water. Accessibility key to change grass. Oh, that's neat. Okay. That's very useful. Drink. We'll put maybe none of that in there. What did I build here? What is this? Blueprint. What are there? Blueprints. Terraformation. I think that's the one I need. Yeah. How do I make this? Iron, cobalt, silicone. Iron, cobalt, silicone. There's silicone. Find some iron. This looks like iron right here. And then cobalt. See if we can't craft that real quick over here at our little desk. It's a very therapeutic game as you're playing. It's very. Whoa, this one's quite big. All right. Pressure, heat, oxygen. Well, it seems to be positive. Terraformation, the one thing that we care about is hidden behind that screen. 1.64 KPI, all right. Now the blueprints, it shows us what we get next. A larger backpack. I like that. Okay, what did we just unlock? Drill T2. Titanium, titanium, and iron. Alright, let's go find some. There's some iron. Here's some titanium. Let's go build drill 2 right next to drill 1 so we can see the difference here. Oh, much larger. Takes far more energy. Ten times the energy. We're not getting. Oh, and we're also getting a little heat and a lot more pressure. Seven and a half times the pr pressure. Seven and a half times the pressure, but ten times the energy cost. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Craft screen progress. Reach blue sky. Craft screen progress. How do we unlock that? Let's check out the blueprint screen. Would it be in the top? Launch platform. Ah. Biomass orbital. <clears throat> hmm. Screen progress. There it is. 2.0 NK. We're at 1.8 KTI. Not quite sure how to get there. That being said, what generates terraforming progress? Just eat water and everything else? Uh. Exactly. Oxygen, I guess, is terraforming. So the more oxygen we generate in general, as well as heat and pressure, the more we're terraforming. I suppose that's it. So we just start spamming out heat and drill guns and wind turbines and solar panels.
iron, cobalt, and silicone. Let's do that. Let's get some iron, cobalt, and silicone. Let's get cobalt, iron, that's magnesium, cobalt, titanium, iron, cobalt, cobalt. I don't think we're going to have a problem getting cobalt or iron. Silicone might be the limiting factor here. Hmm. There's some silicone. There's more iron here. Inventory full. Alright. Does it matter where we build this stuff? I don't think so. It keeps telling us that it's fine pretty much anywhere, but I feel more comfortable building it near our little living quarters. I feel like it would be foolish to just randomly build this stuff, even though it seems to be global. Hmm, that's something to think about. Let's generate a solar panel here. Have it facing that way. Let's generate another solar panel. Oh, we need more silicone. First, we need oxygen, so we can breathe. And we need more silicone. Maybe this was the intended way to play originally. Running around building as much terraforming stuff as we can. Yeah, let's build another one. Ooh. Wind turbine. Now we're out of iron. Magnesium, iron, and ice. Hmm. Let's grab some of that. Ice, magnesium, magnesium, ice. Ice. Oh, more ice. A little more magnesium. Let's rush over to our next little hovel. Hmm. This is quite interesting. Plenty of magnesium and ice along the way here, so once we get there, we'll be able to crank out some of those oxygen tubes. Since there are so many seeds over here, with oxygen generating plants, we might as well. Is that iron? Yep. Alright, let's get over here and get ourselves some oxygen. Ah, a new backpack. Alright, let's generate ourselves a new veggie tube. I don't think it matters which way it faces. Let's go grab one of these high seeds. Food grower. Okay, so that seems to be long-term food production. Oxygen multiplier 200. Let's do it. Seed Pestera. There we go. All right. We be, we need more iron. Wait, we have iron in here, right? I'm assuming plenty of iron. percent oxygen again. Let's see if we can't build another. Yep, sure enough. Okay, we don't really need to access those, so just keep generating more oxygen. Seems good to me. Looks like we're pumping out a bunch of oxygen. Let's see if terraforming index goes up faster. Oh, but that's okay. Space food, red microchip. Still not sure of the relevance of any of this, but... Oh, drink one of these. Let's see if we have food in here somewhere. Yep, let's eat some of that. Alright, now we can craft a backpack, so let's head back over to our other base with our main crafting station. This might be beneficial to produce another crafting station, but... I feel like if I continually produce 
redundant structures at every little spot, I'm going to run into a problem where I have no materials left to support what I'm doing unless I go on long travels. And considering how slow the walking speed is in this, I don't really feel like I want to be doing that. We're producing a lot of power, a lot of heat, a lot of oxygen, so we should be terraforming a little faster. It seems like we are. 2.92 already, which seems to unlock things for us, so that's what I'm hoping for. All right, let's produce backpack T3, aluminium, titanium, and silicone. Uh, titanium, aluminium. Let's see if we can find some silicone. Let's go with some lucky silicone. Nope. All we need is a silicone. See, and this is what I want to avoid in the future, is having to run long and far to grab one material for one production. It doesn't take too long, admittedly, but it seems like it could be a limiting factor where if you don't plan ahead, you get yourself in trouble. That, or it's early access, and there's really no threats yet. <laughs> Could be that simple as well. Alright, let's craft this bigger bag. Boop. Let's see how much bigger this bad boy is. Okay, an extra line. What else we getting? What's coming up next? Blueprints. Oh, these unlock at different things. Okay, terraforming. These unlock at oxygen unlocks. These unlock at various heat differences. These unlock at various pressure differences. Okay. Extract rare ores. Okay. See what the late game was that drill fusion powers all machines machine optimizer what's this water life collector we might want to do more oxygen to unlock water stuff this seems like the longest one my goodness frog eggs okay that's that's what we're reduced to now is our high-end achievement is producing frogs come on all right what are we gonna build tons of oxygen Let's do it. What do we got here? Eggplant seeds for food growers? Nope. How about these? Seed Liam. Bring that with us. What do we need to build another oxygen tube? Ice, magnesium, and iron. Ice, magnesium, and iron. Okay, we should be able to build another one here then. that one in there until we can get another all right actually go get the oxygen producing plants from the other little base and run them back over here we don't have too much space used up nope ice magnesium and iron Magnesium, some more ice, magnesium, ice, Let's see if we can, can't grab some more iron on the way as well, nope, silicone, silicone, titanium everywhere, there's some more iron, pretty good haul so far, thanks to our larger backpack. Should produce another living quarter? No, I would need titanium for that. Uh, could have sworn I just raised my nose at quite a bit of titanium, but oh well. Oh. The oxygen multiplier. Seed liarma. Seed pestiara. Seed pasta. And we got a bunch of food seeds we need to work on. Here's some more liarma. 
Alright, let's head on back. We have the oxygen produced back at the previous living quarters, which I'm treating as our primary living quarters. Once we get there, we'll call it quits on this episode. So, we've got a little bit of a run. If you don't want to watch this jaunt, you can hop off to the next one. And when we get there, we will fill the oxygen production seeds in so we can hopefully speed that process up. And once we've sped that process up, we will be calling it quits. It's already been half an hour. Don't want these to get too long. Wow, that was loud. Unexpectedly loud. I don't know if that came across the mic well. Alright, oxygen vegetube. Let's do the 200 percenter. Clear this guy out and put in the 150 percenter. Alright, then that's where we're going to call it for this one. We'll see you guys on the next one. See you then.